it's me katie welcome back to my channel where it is all revolutionary war all the time and in today's video i just wanted to do kind of a history chit chat share some general updates about the channel and also tell you a really cool story For those of you who are new here to the channel, then welcome. I am a Revolutionary War researcher, speaker, and writer. And this channel is meant to be a fun and friendly place where I can share my research. On this channel, we go on site and we visit a lot of the historical places in this area. So battlefields, burying grounds, historic houses, I'll talk about my research, share it, and oftentimes we'll actually go to the sites and kind of breathe the air and follow in the footsteps of the revolutionaries. And so this channel kind of has that historical action adventure element to it. Case in point, I direct you to a short I did where I visited the Belfry on Lexington Green, which was like the structure that housed the alarm bell that rang um, in the early morning hours of April 19th, 1775 to alert the countryside that the British were out and on the move. That was a very harrowing adventure. I am terrified. I'm going back to my car. So we do stuff like that too and we try and have fun. As some of you may have noticed, some of you who have been, you know, visited my channel before, we have not been doing a ton of action adventure lately. And a huge part of the reason, well, it's actually two reasons, and I wanted to share them with you because it is something I've been struggling with for the past several months. One reason is it has rained for nine consecutive weekends in the Boston area, except for one. There was one weekend of sunniness. So I have been unable to really get out there and go to some of these places. Just so you know, I do intend to begin, begin the action adventure exploring again. So stay tuned for that. I have some adventures up my sleeve. On the weekend where it didn't rain, I did go out filming. I actually went to modern day Peabody, Massachusetts and Salem, Massachusetts. And modern day Peabody was actually originally part of Danvers, Massachusetts. And these are all areas on the North Shore, kind of coastal Northeast area of Massachusetts in Essex County. And the reason that I went up there is because lately I've been doing kind of a deep dive into militia companies from Essex County that responded to the Lexington alarm on April 19th, 1775, because the men from Essex County actually traveled the furthest distance to get to the Lexington Concord Monotomy area when the British retreat turned into a running battle later on the afternoon of the 19th. So I've been kind of doing a deep dive into those militia companies just because number one, I'm kind of fascinated by them and the distance that they traveled. But number two, Danvers, Massachusetts actually suffered the second highest number of casualties on April 19th. They came second only to Lexington in terms of the number of men killed. And the men from Danvers also came the furthest. The men that kind of marched and ran to respond on the 19th, the men, those men that came the furthest lost the second most number of men. So I've been doing a deep dive into why that is. What were they doing? Where did they end up? How did these men from Essex County lose so many men? And I'm doing a long form, longer form video on that very subject. So I hope you'll consider subscribing to this channel if you want to learn more about those men who traveled such a great distance 
and lost so many. That's the reason why lately I went up to the Peabody, Salem, Danvis area because I was filming and I was on site. I was at a monument that is located in modern day Peabody, which again used to be Danvers in 1775. Peabody didn't exist, it was all Danvers. And there's a monument up there that's dedicated to the seven men who lost their lives on April 19th. And one of the veterans of the Lexington Concord Monotony Battle actually spoke at the dedication ceremony, which was in 1835. He was one of the, the person who spoke was Captain Gideon Foster, and he was one of the last surviving militiamen that served in that battle from the North Shore area. So I went to film at that monument and also to visit the grave sites of four of the men who did not make it back alive. And four of those men are buried just around the corner from that monument and they're actually buried in a cemetery in Salem, Massachusetts. The Salem of the Salem Witch Hysteria of 1692. And I actually went and checked out the execution site of the men and women that were hanged in 1692 during that witch hysteria and it's behind a Walgreens. But anyway, that's not really the point. The point is that when I went to the monument in Peabody and to the cemetery in Salem, the noise of traffic was absolutely overwhelming. 1775 at the battles of Lexington and Concord in Monotomy. And I thought it was much too difficult to listen to. So though I filmed that video on site at those locations, I never published it. So if you are waiting for another on-site historical action adventure video, just know that I have not given up. And that brings me to my awesome story that I wanted to share. I had some appointments up in Middleton, Massachusetts, which is north of here and it's not really a place I ever go to. So I didn't really know how to get there. And a friend of mine gave me directions, all back roads, so I didn't have to go on Route 1 in Saugus, which if you know, you know. <laughs> so my plan was to take all these back roads to get to Middleton. And she mentioned that you turn right when you see this big bluish gray house. I was driving up there my, the first time I went and lo and behold, I see this, the big bluish gray house exactly on the corner, exactly where she said it was. So I'm approaching it and it's obviously old. It's obviously an 18th century house, which for some reason I didn't expect. And I notice it has a plaque on it. So I get excited and I'm getting closer and I have to take the right directly in front of the house. And the plaque says, home of Samuel Flint. And as you know, I've been doing this big dive into Essex County militia companies who responded on April 19th. Like this is what I've been living and breathing for weeks. And I said, oh my God, that's Captain Samuel Flint's house. Just Captain Samuel Flint led a company of Essex County militia, Danvis militia to Lexington, Concord, and Monotomy on April 19th, 1775. And I just knew that from my research. I looked at his company. I think he had 41 men from Danvis Village. And there's his house, you know, on the route to my appointment. And that's kind of what I mean about every day. It's just sort of woven into the fabric of your existence here. You know, you get to see this stuff and you get it and you recognize it. To take a random right and bump into Samuel Flint's house and, and know what he did, know who he was. And again, just kind of thinking about the events of April 19th, 1775 and his part in them. I'm going to put a link to some Lexington Concord Monotomy videos here. I hope you'll check them out and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any more Revolutionary War historical action adventure. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.